Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Blazor tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating profile pages where we can see all the books that someone has made. And then equally, we can go back to where the books actually are and we can make the author names be hyperlinks to the profile pages so that you can go to a book, click on the name, see all the books that person's made, and then obviously go to their other books and stuff like that. So let's jump into it. Okay, we're just going to jump straight in. I don't think I need to go over steps for this video because there aren't that many things to do and I can't really think of a sensible way to split it up into steps. We're just going to do each thing we need to do where the first thing is going over to the profile which used to just have a display name and now I've added a list of books because profiles or authors, which are the same thing, have a list of books. This doesn't change the database in any way. It just allows us to grab a list of books. Now, the way this actually works when we use it is because book has a profile in it, then we can actually work out basically when you include books, it just says go to the books table and get all the books where the author matches like this profile. That's effectively what it's doing. Um, and it allows us in our service, which is the next step. If we go over to the profile service, we're making a new method to get profile async, just like how in you know books we have get book async. I mean, I've called it get book by ID, but whatever. Uh, get profile async and it returns a profile and the actual method just says, return context.profiles and rather than just making it a list and getting all of them we're saying get the first one where the id of the profile matches the id we want but we're also including books because by default since books are from a different table than profiles they're not included meaning it'll be null or an empty list or something but um now that we include books this line makes it actually query the books and goes and grabs the, per uh, the books for this profile um, we could do that over here, but in our use case where we actually need to get all profiles, it's just for displaying in a table and we don't need anything about the books for that. So we don't actually include it, but if you did, then you'd just go and add it here. You would include x, y, x dot books and then, you know, uh, to less async. And then what that would do is for every single profile you get when getting them all, you'd also load all their books with them. Uh, but we don't need that and we're not going to bother. So let's just undo back to there. Okay. That's it for the profile model and the profile service. So over in Core Web, where we have all our components, um, just like the books folder with all the book ones, I've made a profiles folder with the profile view component. Now maybe later on we'll make an edit component and if the profile is yours that you're looking at, then you can edit it. But for now, we just want to view. And when you view, you basically say, well, actually let's look at the code first. So the code behind it is literally just a parameter profile that's passed into this component. The component just handles the actual displaying. It says, so long as the profile's not null, render as a h1 a header the display name so the person's username and then if they have any books then render this part now maybe you want an else saying you know like no books so say like else uh, h2 um no books whatever right but if they have some books we're gonna have a header for books and then a list an unordered list where we add elements a list element so li's list element um, that has a hyperlink and the hyperlink takes you to slash book slash and then the ID of the book. Keep in mind this is in a loop, looping over the books for the profile. So we're going to render a list element for every book they have uh, with a hyperlink to the actual page for the book. So that's book slash book ID is actually the book page. And then the actual element itself on the page renders uh, the title of the book. So you see the title of the book, click, and it takes you to the book. Okay, that's it for the profile view component. And then you want over in the actual web thing, a book page. And the book page just has the book view component and then passes in a book. And that book comes from the backing file. Um, oh, apparently it's a problem, no, okay. Um, in here, we just inject the navigation manager. It's the same thing as the book page, actually. I copy, oh, I'm looking at the book page. That's, that's why. Um, there we go, yeah, so. To make the profile page, I actually copied and pasted the book page because it's basically the same. So take the book page you already have and all we do is um, we say basically profile equals and then get profile async, which is the method we wrote earlier down here where we include the books. So say profile service, get that. If the profile's null, then return. But if it's not null, then we have seven and we have the view component which we pass in the profile to and it renders the profile page of all the books and everything assuming you've you know, remembered to include books in the query um so that's the profile page the profile view component and the only things left to do actually is to go over to the already existing book components so for example the book view component and over here we had a h2 with um basically saying if the profile author exists then put the name otherwise put unknown so our logic's a bit more than that now. So what I've, I've spread it out. 
I've added an if, and we say if the book's author does not equal null, so if the book has an author, then uh, render a h2. That say that basically says their display name, you know, because if the author exists, then their display name's there. Um, and then that's actually a hyperlink to slash profile slash and then the author's ID. So that takes you to their profile page. And then if they don't have an author, we'll just say unknown. Okay, and I need that exact same logic over in the table. Okay, every time we render the table uh, element, we want to say if that author exists, remember this is different though, we're using TD instead of uh, LI. Instead of a list element, it's a table uh, thing. What's the D actually kind of a data cell? Table data, I can't remember. Um, but that's also a hyperlink to book.author.id. Um, but if you've copied and pasted it from the other thing, you need to make book lowercase because it's in this loop here, it's lowercase book. Um, and it does the same thing, it just says unknown if there's no offer, and if there is an offer, it's a hyperlink and their name. Okay, let's actually go give that a go. I think that's everything, honestly. It's a very short video. We're actually coming to a close on this series about Blazor. I will be doing Blazor videos in the future covering various topics, but this series is coming to a close, which is all about, you know, making books, adding them to profiles, you know, looking over people's books. It's just an example. Um, if we go to books, you'll see these two books are by me, and they've got hyperlinks. Stuff I, I know I can click on it. Um, these ones don't have owners. Okay, so let's go to this one. And this is my profile page where it says my name and my books. Okay, here are both of my books. And they're both called my book, uh, but it's book four and book seven. If you look down here, you can see the actual IDs. So this is book four. Okay, I go back. This is book seven. Um, I think I actually basically had the same data for both of them, but they are definitely different books. And then from a book, you see the author's name. You can click on it and you go back to their profile. Now I'm the only one with an account here, so it's not that interesting. But yeah, that's it to be honest. Now you can add profiles, uh, go to their profile page, see what books they have, and from books you can then go back to profiles. You've got that you know, loop there, you can do whatever you need. You click around, click around, find the profile, go back. It, it's up to you, right? It's up to you what to do next. You can add more information to the profile page. Maybe you add a profile picture and you know you figure out how to do that. But yeah, that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It's actually kind of the end of the series too, because I will do more Blazor videos in the future on various topics that people, you know, want, like how to do this in Blazor, how to do that in Blazor. But for the sake of the series where I've set up, you know, this effective like book and library system, so you can have books that belong to you, you can look at other people's books, you know. Uh, there's definitely more we could add to this, but I'm not going to make it last longer just for the sake of it. You can, you know, expand this how you like, you can take what you've learned and make your own kind of website. But I will take requests for, you know, ideas of how to use this in Blazor, how to do that in Blazor, things that I haven't covered that are still relevant and quite common in websites, you know, I'll, I'll make videos on those kind of things. And I'm going to do the same with my Discobot series, I'm going to kind of come to the end of the RPG series, even though there's more I can do, it could last forever, theoretically. And then I'll do one-off videos covering different things people want to know how to do. But yeah. but yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye. But of course, before I go, I've got to thank my patrons. A special thanks to Jason Swearingen, Liz Kimber, Josh Folsom, Beard or Die, Dustin Miller, Francisco Diaz, Rack, Joris Letta, Heidi Zorko, Rene, and Marie Baldwin. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, link to my Patreon is down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. If you could help me out by following on any of those, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.